start. Jason Perkins, what a revelation he has been. Phil Reyes, he has shown some aptitude. Jexter, Shaw, Raimondo, and company. The other side of the ball, Satria Muda, Pertamina, the team list. Gary Jacobs, one of the three uh, foreigners on the team. Audi, he has been a factor. Taggart from the high post and the low post. Gunawin has gotten some rebounds. So a much taller Satria Muda team going against a small and quick and very unpredictable team from the Philippines in the third day of action. Game number 10 here from the OCBC Arena. Hello, everybody. Chuck Schreiner. So happy you could spend part of your day with us. Again, as usual, for the last two days, we have a triple header going for you here at the OCBC Arena. After this game, the Singapore Singers, our own Singapore Singers, be going against the Shang, uh, against the Adelaide 36ers, and our nightcap, John Duke, KCC Eagles, against the Shanghai Sharks. That is the lineup for today, last day of the round robin action. And tomorrow we start the playoff part of it, Saturday and Sunday, culminating at 5 o'clock, the winner of the semifinal and semifinal two. Let's go to the floor. Introducing first, Satria Muda Pertamina. On the bench, number one, Steven Laurentius. Number two, Hardianos Lakudu. Eight, Sandy Ibrahim. Thirteen, Gunawan. Twenty-one, Rizal Falcone. Thirty-five, Juan Lawrence. And forty-four, Dio Lohan. And now, Starting five for Satya Muda. Guard, Agent Zero, Gary Jacobs. Number four, Famiga Michel. Eleven, Edgar Bagastio. Thirty, Kevin Jonas Torres. And fifty-five, Sean Taggart. Assistant coach for Satya Muda, Ismail, head coach, Yubel Sonda. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome NLEX SC Tex Tollways. On the bench, number zero, Pamboy Raimundo. Number nine, Harold Arboleda. 10, Andreas Kahilig. 16, J.P. Valencian. 22, Ryan Bertino. 24, Oping Sue Molinog. 26, Mark Pangilinan. Starting five now for the Tollways. 6, A. J. Vitug. Seven, Jason Perkins. Fifteen, Byron Villarias. Eighteen, Jexter Apinan. And nineteen, Maurice Shaw. Head coach for the Toeways, Jojo Lastimosa. Officials for this match, Wong Hui Liang from Singapore. Steve Goh from Singapore and Richard Sim also from Singapore. Game Commissioner, Mr. Jimmy Chan from Singapore. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Satya Muda, Pertamina and the NLEX SC Tex Toeways. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Both these teams coming off a tough double losses the first two days. On Wednesday, Satya Muda stayed with the defending champion Shanghai Sharks most of the way before falling 81-69 and uh, their three forward import Jacob Lohard and Taggart who we just met have carried most of the load and uh, were worn down by the pivotal fourth quarter now last night supremely organized best way to say it beyond you KCC Egas the tree of Moore fell behind early and never really recovered going down 97 to 65 and LEX SC Tex Tollway suffered a similar fate when uh, facing the Koreans on Wednesday, going down 99-79 as they faded in the second half. Now, last night against the Sharks, however, Tollway stood tall until the final eight minutes of play 
leading with the chance. In fact, leading by a couple before finally going down, fading in the last eight minutes, going down 79-65. Jason Perkins has developed into a floor leader as well as a scorer while the entire cast of players, including Pamboy Ramondo, offering Simulanog, and J.P. Balencion have uh, had streaky games on both sides of the ball, so a very scrappy team from the Philippines, very unpredictable. As we look at the starting five, Jacobs, Vamiga, Audi, Kevin Jonas, and Sean Taggart, so Dior Lohorn will come off the bench as they want to give some rest to one of their big men. There's Lohorn right there, led all scorers last night with 25. He's had a good tournament. Remember the ex-Singapore Slingers, and that is Satria Muda warming up right there. As we said, both these teams, very unlucky not to be at least one and one. Very well matched. This ought to be a very, very intriguing matchup. In fact, all three of our games, as we look at Tollway right there, the guys in the white jerseys. Again, they're very good in the open court. They had an uncanny knack of knocking down shots last night. My goodness. Valencian, where was his head at? He knocked down three or four threes in the space of a few minutes. Again, against the Shanghai Sharks team and gave them everything that they possibly could have wanted and more before fading, as we said, in the last five, eight minutes of the game and going out of here with the 16-point loss, although they deserved a much better fate. So both these teams know how it is to be close and both these teams needing a win badly. If they're have any hopes of making the semifinals. So look for a rough and ready match. Both these teams very physical. Probably Satria Moody, a little bit more height, size, but uh, the X factor being the grit and determination of this Philippines team. A bunch of developmental league players and a couple of veterans, veterans sprinkled in like Shaw for good measure. And we'll see how it develops. So that is our game one. Game two tonight, the Singapore Singers going against the Adelaide 36ers. Adelaide coming off a very overpowering win last night against the Taiwanese team, 104 to, check that, 104 to 46, yes. So the Singers uh, hopefully will give a better account of themselves tonight against a very high-powered uh, NBL team from Australia that actually won the league last year, and they've got all their local players back. The foreign players have all changed, but uh, the philosophy pretty much remains the same. Then our nightcap, Jeonju KCC Eagles, probably the best organized team and the fittest team in this competition. They will be going against the Shanghai Sharks. What a game that ought to be. The Jeonju KCC Eagles and the defending champion Shanghai Sharks, both those teams undefeated. So the first game, a team, both teams 0-2. Unlucky to be 0-2, but that's the way it goes. Second game, the Singers 1-0 and Adelaide 1-0. So we got a lot on the line today that will no doubt determine on what the seeds are tomorrow in semifinal day. We'll talk more about that. That will be full state of action on Saturday. Referees getting familiar with the scoring table. Satria Muda on the floor right now. We're just about ready to do it here at the OCBC Arena. So happy you could join us. Day three of the Merlion Cup. 2017. In case you missed the scores from last night, we'll just score them very, very quickly. Game one of 430, Satria Muda, as we said, went down 97-65 to Jianju. Game two, Adelaide 76ers, easily handling Yulon Lux on Dinos, 104-46. Shanghai Sharks, easy by an LEX SC Tex, Colways, 79-65. So ready to jump it up in the middle of the court. There's Taggart in blue going up against Shaw in white. Philippines in white. Indonesia in blue with the white trim. And let's do it. Perkins controlling the ball. Quickly getting his running mate, Shaw, in there. Everybody crashing the boards. And there's a foul. Villieras act. He will go to the line for two. There it is again. We talked about how scrappy this undersized, really, Philippines team is. You can see Shaw, the lone big body in there. Everybody attacking the rim. Liaris hits the first one. Hey, 
two for two. So Byron Villarius puts full ways in the head. Jacobs with the ball now around the screen. Little floater in the lane is good. And look for Indonesia to try and exploit that soft underbelly defense uh, put up by the Philippines early and often. Post-up move, Perkins can't get it to fall. And again, you see five shirts around the ball, three blue shirts and two white shirts. Last touch by Indonesia. So number six, Vitug will inbound it. Gives it to Valarius, no hesitation there with the shot, no good. Crashing the boards again, Philippines come away with it. Offensive ball is totally Just a gritty, hustling team. Vitug, still Vitug in the lane, has it blocked away. Coming up with it is Taggart. Jacobs on the right side. Taggart applying the screen, rolling off the bat. Rotates the ball to number 30, that's Kevin Satorius. Back in the hands of Jacobs, you see that build up on the right hand side. Somebody's open, number four on the left with the shot, no good, that was Michelle. Offensive board, first one by Indonesia. Jacobs again sets it up, spreads out the defense. Galarius again, with the shot, check that, that is Kevin Satorius. So 4-2, Satria Muda. Valarius over to Shaw, who takes the high position. He'll rotate down to the low post. Ball taken away, but a push. I think that'll go against the Philippines. Yes, it will. A push on number 15, Byron Valarius. Foul call. Byron Valarius. First personal. First team foul for the total. So first team foul on the Philippines. Entry pass to Taggart at the high post. Shaw covering him. Face-up move. Taggart gets his own rebound. Hands up. The Tog picks it off. Good job by Philippines. Everybody with their hands up. That's a two. A off-balance shot there by number 15, Valarius. So 5-4 in favor of the Philippines. Forcing the ball inside. No go. Back comes Vegas. On the dribble in between the trees and probably should have held it up. A foul, however. Watch V-Tug again going to the left hand, going right into the teeth of the interior defense, and he is fouled. That'll send him to the line for the first time. V-Tug and Ramondo splitting time at the guard position. Ramondo went most of the way last night, so giving him a blow. Don't lose a lot with V-Tug in there. Missing the first shot, nailing the second. 6-4 lead now with 7.37 to go here in the first quarter. Jacobs. Again, Taggart over there to apply the screen. Kick back outside. Long shot from Threesville. Got it. <laughs> Number 30, Kevin Satoris. And a stolen ball on the other end by Taggart. Jacobs attacking the basket. In the lane, got it. Over the top. Shot off the glass and in. So 9-6 to Tria Moody. Ball stolen away again. Vitug careless with the ball. He'll wait for troops this time. Michelle thought about it. In the lane. Wild shot thrown up there. Taggart there to clean it up. Bumping up again. Shot up and in. Fortuitous play there. A busted play. Shot by Michelle wasn't going anywhere. Taggart there to clean it up, and uh, man on man against Shaw gets the best of him. 11 to 6. Valarius, long shot, cans it. So his second bucket. Valarius now with eight. Taggart. Michelle from Threesville, yes. Well, where was this yesterday? Of course, the defense not coming out to meet the shooters like the two opponents these other teams did previously. So better looks at the basket. 14-9, Satria Moody. 
Down low, Valarius again. Off the glass, up and in. Double figures already for Byron. And it's a 14-11 game. Jacobs with the three, rolls in and out. Taggart with the follow. So just like that, what a difference a day makes. Offenses machine both these teams. Perkins, quick first step in the lane, left hand off the glass and in. 5.22 to go. Offensive show being put on by both these teams. Jacobs around the screen. Hesitation dribble, rotates to Michelle on the other side. Lines up the three, can't get it to fall. Skine for the rebound and coming down with it is number 18, Jexter. Bounce pass, Perkins comes up with it. The tug from Threesville, no good. Jacobs, streaking down the court, all the way. Coast to coast, Jacobs. Playground basketball. He tug, spinning in the lane, loses it. Lakudo checking out number 11, Audi. Raimondo checking in for number six, V Tug. 437 mark, 1813, Satriya Muda. Torres with the ball, gets the ball inside, intercepted by Shaw. Wait for company. Perkins now at the top of the key. Still Perkins, post up. Two on one. Gets it off to Shaw. Shaw kicked back outside to Perkins for three. 18-16. Good ball movement by the Philippines. Good ball movement by both these teams. Taggart will take a three of his own. Back rims that one. Perkins with another board. Chance now for... The Tolsters to tie this up. Ramondo for three, no good. Back rim. So a couple of threes ill advised. That'll bring back Jacobs. Jacobs with the ball. 335 to go here in the first quarter. It's been entertaining. Crossing over. Looking downstairs. Has number 30, Satorius. Satorius turns, fires off the mark, and a foul streaking in, I believe. That will be on number zero, Gary Jacobs. His first foul. Getting ready to check in the game for Indonesia. Number 21, Falcone. Also number 35, Juan Coco de Putra. So coach is very cognizant of this is the third game in three days. Wants to make sure everybody gets a blow. Underneath, Taggart off balance. Can't get it to go. Perkins tying him up. Ball out of bounds. It'll go back the other way to the Philippines. Good job by Perkins to step inside Taggart. Raimondo. Valarius. Perkins on the left side gives it up. Good ball movement now in the ball game. Samalinog, Samalinog with the shot, off, off target, Taggart with the rebound, other side, quick three, off the mark, rebound. Shaw, like a track meet here, 2.45 to go, Raimondo saying clear out, Perkins playing the low post now, left hand dribble with the post up move, gives it up, Shaw with the shot, in and out it goes, Jacobs with the rebound, pushes it quickly down the court, Indonesia in blue, Philippines in white. Thought about it. Good ball rotation, bounce pass over to the right side. Reach in foul, that'll go against Shaw. Number 19, his first foul. If we watch it again, there it is. Valencian will check back into the game for Tollway. Inbound. Long three, and again, got to put hands in these shooters' faces. They did not, so back to a five-point game. 
Raimondo looking for help. Still Raimondo, pull up jumper from the elbow, no good. Ball tipped around, Shaw comes up with it, offensive board for him. Samalinog, still Samalinog, accepts the screen by Shaw, inside he goes, gives off to Perkins, Perkins through the lane, up and in, baby hook. Traverses across the center line. 1.39 to go, 21-18. Taggart, Taggart with the jumper, from the free throw line, good. 23-18. Ramondo, Perkins, Samalinog. Inside, Perkins being guarded by Falcone. Perkins turns him inside out, takes a shot, no good. Shaw can't get high enough. Five on three. Straight to the rack for number two. Lakudu, his first bucket of the game. 25-18, seven point lead for Satria Muda. Looking inside. Shaw at the high post, he gets it. Taggart working on him, looking for cutters. Foul underneath, away from the ball. I believe that's going to go on number two, Lakudu. No, they're gonna say offensive foul. Wow. So they'll take it to the far side. 49.1 seconds to go here in the first quarter. As we said, it's been very entertaining. Two of these teams very hungry for a win, both 0-2 to start off the tournament. Taggart turns and fires. Easy two for him again. Shaw will not come out on him. So Taggart taking advantage of being all alone. Nine point lead. Kick back outside. Perkins from three. Good. 27-21. Indonesia can take the last shot. Bounce pass inside. Turn and fire. Way off the mark. A little bit too impatient on that possession. Back comes Ramondo. Chance now for the Philippines to get to within three or four. Seven seconds. Ramondo around the screen. Takes the three. Got it. 27-24. And that will do it. So great action here at the OCBC Arena, Satria Muda, the narrow winner of the first quarter. They lead NLEX, the Tolsters, 27-24, when we come back for second quarter action in a moment. Exciting stuff here at the OCBC Arena 27-24 in favor of Satria Muda from the Philippines over NLEX SC Tex Tollway from the Philippines. Not much to choose between these two teams. Straight up and down basketball, up and down. Teams attacking the basket, outside shooting, a little bit of everything. Very physical game. Nobody in foul trouble as of yet, however, Byron who has 10 points with two fouls. Byron Valarius, oh, yes, right away, 
big three. So six point lead again. Raimondo. Perkins has to chase it down. Still Perkins, kick back outside. Dump in pass, back up shot by Shaw is gonna be off the mark. Perkins there fighting for the rebound. Back outside again, rotation over to Balenciano is gonna be short again. Another offensive board by Perkins. Up the glass, he is fouled, he'll go to the line for two. Yeoman's work underneath by Perkins, check it out. Shaw right there, Perkins. Gets the angle, and he's hit. First foul. Missing the first one is Perkins. O for 2, stepping in the lane to seal off the rebound. Number 13, Ganawan. Getting ready to check in the game for the Philippines, number 22, Ryan Batino. Hit a couple of threes yesterday. Perkins will get a, a blow for a while. Having to work very hard and playing the number four position. He's a natural two or a three. Quite an adjustment having to adjust to a uh, physical position. A lot of contact. Eats away at your body after a while. Good ball rotation, long. Three is good. Lakudu. So 33-24, the lead stretched to nine. Samalinog. Ball on the floor. Satria Muda picks it up and in. So now an 11 point lead and we're going to have a timeout by the Philippines as they want to talk it over. Some miscues on the offensive end leading to turnovers, quick points for Satria Muda, 35-24 when we come back with the stats. Talk about the stats uh, from the first quarter, shooting anyway. NLX, uh, SCTEX, 8 of 17 for 47% from the field. Nine rebounds, three O-boards, five turnovers. That's got to change, and they haven't helped themselves coming out here in the second quarter. On the other side of the ball, Satria Muda, 12 of 23, 52%. That's sparkling. Ten rebounds, five O-boards, and only one turnover. So turnovers, the difference in the first quarter, that 27-24. Since then, the Satria Muda team has gone on a little 8 nothing run. And that's where we stand right now, 35-24. 8.33 to go here in the first half. Chuck Schreiner along with you. Hope you're enjoying 11 sports coverage of the Merlion Cup for 2017. Day three here at the OCBC Arena. Philippines in white, Indonesia in blue. Patino, Valencian, Samalanov. Post up move, finds some space inside. Shaw with the rebound, up and in. Tenacious offensive board and put back by Shaw. League now nine. Lakudu. Back outside again. Dior Lohorn checking into the game. Wide open. Look, yes. Number 21, Falcone dumps it in. First bucket for him. The string beam forward. Ramondo looking for somebody. Balencion. Now Samalinog into the lane. Has it blocked. Gets it back outside. Good job just to keep it alive. Shaw with the ball. Back up jumper. Off the glass. No good. Two and out. Back come Indonesia. Long pass downstairs to Dior who finishes it. And one. Dior Lawhorn. And again, Satria Muda, as you look at it again, taking advantage of mistakes. 
Lohorn at the line, as we said, just entered leading score for Satria Muda last night, 25 points. He's had himself a good tournament, the ex-Singapore slinger. Converts it to make it a three-point play, 40-26 in favor of Satria Muda. Valencian, bounce pass to Shaw. Shaw gives it up to Malinog. Ramondo tries to hit the lane, no dice there. Being covered by Gunawan and a foul inside, and that will go on number 21, Falcone, with the elbow on number 22, Batino. There it is, you can see him pushing out. So Philippine ball on the baseline, they trail 40-26, 7.06 to go here in the second quarter. Shaw circling around, can't get it to him. Return pass to Ramundo in the lane, looking for space. Backup jumper, no good, rebound by Dior. Lowhorn down the right-hand side. Goes Lakudu. Dior thought about the three. He has that range. He rolls off of one screen. Bounce pass to him. Rolls off of Shaw. Can't get it to go. Shaw momentarily. Then Balencian picks up the loose ball. Falcone on him. Back come the Philippines. Ramondo downstairs. What do we have here? Holding on. I believe that will go against Dior, Dior Lohorn. Check it out and see. No, before that, actually. That will go on number two, Lakudu. Checking in the game now. Perkins will replace Shaw. Perkins must be about 6'3", 6'4", maybe. 6'4", I think. Draws Lohorn. Long shot is way off the mark. Lohorn saves it. Back comes Satria Muda. Lakudu almost loses it. Perkins on him. Indonesia spread out the offense. Lohorn gets it back. He'll take that shot. A two if it goes, and it does. 42-26. Biggest lead of the game for Indonesia. 16 points. Rotation to Valencian. Shot off the mark, so Samalinek there to clean it up. He is fouled. Will go the line for two, but is angry at himself for not knocking down the Gimme on the interior. Watch it again. Should have done better with it than that. Foul on number 35. That is Coco Pedutra. That stops the clock at 551. Got him both. Jacob's getting ready to come back in for Satria Muda. And checking out number 13, Ganawan. Lakuda, yo yoing down the left hand side, gives it off to Jacobs looking for Lowhorn. Lowhorn with it now, the post up. Falcone all alone, he hits that shot, catch and shoot again for Falcone. All of a sudden an offensive force, 44-28, back up to a 16-point lead. The high leg checking in now for the Philippines. It'll scoot pass to the right side. Batino. Somebody's open, bad shot. Oh, lucky for Kahila because he follows the action, being in the right place at the right time. So finishes it off, off the miss. 44-30. Lowhorn from three. Yes! Lowhorn didn't stop the game, but certainly coming back. That is eight for him. Michelle getting ready to come back in. Perkins loses it out of bounds, trying to get the ball inside to Ryan Bettino, camped out behind Lowhorn. Lowhorn with a good defensive play, keeping his hands outstretched. Shielding the vision of the intended receiver. 4.53 to go, 47.30. Number 11, Audi, over to Lowhorn. Lowhorn is ganged up on, and that will go on number 22, Ryan Bettino. 
Uh, you can see the strategy of the Indonesian team rotating big men in and out of the game. Out goes Lohorn. In comes Taggart again. So sort of like a double team. Using Taggart and Lohorn interchangeably. Taggart being pushed around by Shaw. Runner is no good. Michelle. Taggart from two, if it goes, it does not. Perkins skies for the board. Raimondo with 4.29 to go here in the first half. Raimondo splits the lane. Shaw has it knocked away. Foul. Let's see if that goes on Taggart. Has to be either him or Adi. There you go right there. Ooh. They're going to give it to Adi. Fifteen foul means that Philippines will be at the line for the remainder of the second quarter. As we said, ladies and gentlemen, three excellent games on hand. This is number one. The next one at 6.30. You don't want to miss that. Singapore Slingers, Adelaide 36ers. Our nightcap, Jeonju, KCC Eagles versus the Shanghai Sharks. Both those teams undefeated as well. Go a long way in determining who will have what seats tomorrow. And the, as we exit the round robin portion of the tournament offensive board there Falcone rotates to Taggart from three yes Taggart for a big man does have range Shaw having to come out on it but not far enough 50 to 32 Raimondo back rims that one Falcone ball on the floor Audi comes up with it Michelle thought about it over to Audi again. Jacobs lurking on the right-hand side. Foul, and that'll go on Raimondo, a touch foul. That comes at the 3.37 mark. So still a wide-open game, but you get the sense of Satria Muda. Just a little bit too much beef downstairs, especially with the X-Factor, Dior Lohorn, who can play the three, the four, or the five. Jacobs from downtown misses it. Shaw with another rebound. Raimondo and company. Samala leg on his left. He's got Perkins on his right. Kahele, good looking play right there. Lots of options. That's what happens when they become more organized. Getting down the court in unison and setting up. Going to a spot. Receiving the pass. Falcone, he's two for two. Short rims that one. Another offensive board. This one taken by Audi. Gets the ball over to Jacobs. Barking out signals at the three minute mark. Round one defender, off balance, shot, hits it for three, no foul. Jacobs with 12, leading scorer for Indonesia. 53-35, 18-point lead, matching the biggest lead of the game. Perkins posting up, gets inside, foul and one. Foul will go on Audi. Check it out again. No, that will go on Falcone, actually. Substitutions coming in. Number 30, Satoris for Indonesia. Leading the game, number 24, Somalinog. Perkins converts the free throw, three-point play for him. That trims the lead to 15. 2.30 to go here in the second quarter. Jacobs. Long three off the mark. Shaw rips down a board. Outlet pass. On the floor still. Picked up by Romando. Perkins. Left hand dribble. He's trapped. Gets it back outside. Still Perkins. Perkins. Backup jumper. Got it for three and falls down. No foul. 53-41. 12-point lead, under two minutes to go here. Taggart arriving late. He'll take the three and sink it. Wow. Taggart red hot from Freesville. Shaw not coming out on him, and you can see the result. 15-point game again. Perkins drawing a crowd. There's a foul. Go on number 11. 
Arizona Nugra, Audi. In fact, that will be number four, Michelle. Michelle now with one foul. Nobody in particular in foul trouble on either team. Number 21, Falcone has two. For Satria Muda, number 35, Coco Pedutra in limited plays got two fouls. The other side of the ball, number 15, Valarius has a couple. As does number 16, Valencian. 56-42, Jacobs. Going one-on-one -on -one with Perkins. Rolls it to the basket, getting the best of that. Quick first step by Jacobs. 16-point lead, Raimondo. That'll be a long two, no good. Jacobs all over the place at the moment with the rebound. Getting around one defender. Little floater in the lane, no good. Perkins with the board. He'll hold it up, get it into the ball of hands of Raimondo. Raimondo to Kahalig. Shaw looking for cutters. Raimondo from three, going to be off the mark. Under a minute to play. Perkins still fighting underneath. Raimondo off the glass, no good. Punch back outside, right in the path of Perkins. They'll reset. 42 seconds to go in the half. Long three, off the mark. Rebound. Rebound taken by number 30, that's Satorius. In Indonesia, will slow it down. Philippines should get the ball back. Tagger, he's been hot from out there. Shaw has to come out on him into a sea of white shirts. See, Philippines plays for the last shot. Shot clock is off, nine seconds to go. Raimondo, little split move on the inside, got it. Turning his defender, Audi inside out. So 58-44 at the buzzer, and that's the way it'll finish the Tria Muda. High scoring game leads NLEX SC Tex by a score of 58 to 44 at the half. We'll be back for highlights in a moment. Fifty-eight forty-four. your score at the end of the first half, 31-20. So Tria Muda getting the best of both quarters, in particular outscoring Philippines by 11 after a three-point bulge in the first quarter. So total of 14 points. So Tria Muda taking advantage of some mistakes on the other side of the ball and also some long-range shooting, in particular for Taggart, who knocked down two threes we don't normally see him do that so that is the score at intermission and here are halftime highlights to start the game there's Perkins looking inside defender falls down in the subsequent basket there by Valarius early on here's Jacobs Jacobs on route to getting the ball to Taggart who finishes it up Jacobs with 12 first half points Taggart with 10. Lohorn with 8. So the big three, very much uh, recipients of the scoring for the Indonesian team. All the way, coast to coast, goes Jacobs. Perkins looking inside. A little post-up move by him. Shaw trying to go baseline. Wide open shot for Perkins, who doesn't miss. Back the other way it goes, Jacobs, unconscious there for a while, doing everything, rebounding, fishing off assist and shooting. Perkins inside, little hook, going across the middle, splitting the defense. Taggart turns and fires for two. Shaw not very happy with himself. Outlet pass inside, two on one. I'll take it myself, says the voodoo. Firing all, all cylinders. There is Taggart again. We saw him shoot from all over the place. Again, a long three. 
still. Philippines in wide around the screen. Raimondo with his first bucket of the game. That is a three. Keeping the Philippines in contact. Good ball rotation there. Shot is a three by Ganawan. So local boys helping out a lot tonight. Again in the corner, Ganawan. Good ball rotation. Another three. They're doing their job around the perimeter, creating space. Here on the steal, gonna go all the way, number 35, that is Coco de Putra. Towards the tail end of the second quarter now. Off the miss, Shaw staying with it. He had six in the first half. Lohorn certainly made a presence when he came in. Finished there. On the break again, long lead pass to Lohorn, catching the ball over his shoulder, up and in, a foul. Lohorn would convert for a three. Wide open look, nobody getting a hand in his face. He can do that all night long. So in limited time, Lohorn, a scoring machine, Raimondo, misses, but cleaned up by Kahili. The ball falls harmlessly on the opposite side of the net where there were a blue shirt. Haggard now, or check that Lohorn from three. Michelle on the rotation, Taggart there for three. He'll hit that shot. Taggart for 14 points in the first half. To Halig, nothing but net there. Check that was Zamalino, number 24. On his back, Jacobs delivers with the three. Jacobs for 14 as well, so co-scoring leaders for Indonesia rolling through the basket is Perkins. Perkins with 17 first half points. Also, Billy Aris in double figures with 10 on the ground again. So, a couple of Philippine players trying to look for a foul. Tough angle there. That time by Jacobs. Raimondo off the dribble, turning his defender inside out for two of his five. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the halftime highlights. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is halftime here, day three of the Blind Cup in the first game. And we just want to say a big hello to everyone in the OCBC arena. So you see yourselves on screen, don't be shy like these two, obviously. Yeah. How about a little wave, guys? Hi, what's up? There we go. Massive amount of embarrassment right there. I mean, guys, it's not the biggest deal in the world, you know. I'm gonna weave. All right, let's see how long it takes for these two to notice they're on camera. Father and son there. Hi, nice, to, nice to see you guys out here today. What's up, girls? There you go. Understated, understated weave. What's up, brother? Yes, you are on the big screen, bro. Oh, we have more people trying to hide. I don't know, are they taking a picture of themselves? Yeah, they're hiding their face. I don't understand this. Hello, ma'am. Oh, yeah, my man, he likes this song. I sense a trend amongst some of the little girls, some of the younger girls in the audience here today. Let's see what reaction we get now. Let's see the reaction. Hi, what's up? Are you having a good Friday? There we go. Expected reaction. How about a wave, guys? Hello. Hi. Okay, sure, that works. Very good afternoon, man. All right, this is what I like. Ready for it, waiting for it. 
All right, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Lots more action coming out right here at the Malayan Cup 2017. And ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy the action on the court, don't forget to take lots of pictures and Instagram or hashtag on social media with hashtag Malive Cup. You just might get a chance to see your pictures up on the big screen. Welcome back to the OCBC Arena, ladies and gentlemen. We have a 58-44 game, high-scoring game here. Highest-scoring game we've had after one half. Some of the statistics that might interest you, first half. Uh, let's talk about the leaders, Satriya Muda first. 24 of 45 for 53 percent. 20 rebounds, nine offensive boards, and only one turnover. Big key to their game. On the other side of the ball, NLEX SC Tex from the Philippines, 14 to 36. 39%, seven turnovers, so they took care of the ball pretty well. Only two turnovers in that second quarter. 23 rebounds, 11 O boards. So shooting percentage key in this 14 point lead now. Philippines in white, Indonesia in blue. Belieris gives it up and slides through the middle. Aggressive. Defense all over the place by Indonesia. Same starters that were in there to begin the game. With Shaw, he's got four. Steps through a defender right at the 24 second timeline and gets the shot off. Jacobs with 14 points gives the ball off. Baseline, and what do we have here? A foul, a blocking foul, I believe. Yes, and that will go on number 10. Foul called on Tollways, number 10, Andreas Kahilik. First personal, first team foul for Inlex SC Tex. That is Kahilik. Jacobs rolling off the screen. He's got Michelle wide open on the other side. Good rotation, wide open alone, and a foul on Shaw. Taggart on the baseline, quickly spotted on the pass right there so he will go the line for two 14 in the first half for Taggart as well including two threes of all things so Taggart showing that uh, even though he's a big man he can hit from outside in fact 10 of his 14 points were from the perimeter 16 now for the big man Taggart makes a goal Raimondo now to Shaw who's up top Kahelig. Perkins splits two defenders. Off the glass, up and in. Good job by Perkins making something out of nothing. 60 to 46. Lakudu. Sets the screen, rolling off the screen. Number 30. Beautiful play there by Satoris. Lots of contributions tonight from the local boys. Kahalik Shaw up top again. He'll rotate down. Off of one screen, Valarius still with the left hand. Turns and fires, does a 360. Rebound, Hargionis. Lakudu, Jacobs spreads out the offense. Perkins working on him. He'll take that long three. Nobody on him. Why not? So 65-46. Biggest lead of the game by Satria Muda. 19. Raimondo. Shaw. Cutters. I don't know where that shot was going. Picked off. So Satria Muda really starting to stamp authority on this game at the moment. Michelle. Taggart, Shaw working on him, facing up, turns and fires. Shot's going to be off the mark. Ball tipped in the air. 
Philippines up with it, lead pass to Perkins, has to save it, steps on the line, turnover, it'll be Satria Muda ball. Again, next up at 6.30, Singapore Slingers, our Singapore Slingers going against the Adelaide 36ers. Don't want to miss that, both those teams undefeated. Adelaide taking care of business last night against Taiwan, 104 to 46. Same team that Singapore beat by 20. So interesting matchups if you believe in score lines. Ball out of bounds. It'll remain in possession of the Philippines. Perkins inbounds it to Raimondo. Got Kahalik out on his left. Shaw at the high post. Slashing over number 15, Valarius. Raimondo. Kahalik can't get it to go. And ice cold for the last 10 minutes or so. The Philippines team almost taken away. Quick hands by Valarius. Rotation to Raimondo from Threesville. No good. Shaw getting the best of that, but touching at last, it'll be Satria Munda ball. So 19 points. Pace slowed down a little bit, and how could it not? Like playground basketball for the first half. Rotation to the right side. Michelle, left hand, dances through the middle. Gets the ball to the left hand. Number 30, Satoris, who finishes it up. 21 point lead. This Philippines team, the Tollers, are sort of the amalgamation of developmental league players. Perkins, great hopes for him, and he is the real deal. He's really impressed throughout this tournament. It doesn't matter who he's been playing against. Speaking of which, he's got the ball there on the low post. Let's see. A foul. That will go against number 30, Satoris. Foul call of 30, Kevin Yona. Second personal, first team foul for Satria Muda. Shaw. Raimondo. Well, a lot of standing around now by the Philippines. Fall away jumper by Perkins Free is good. Away, so Perkins, Perkins now. With 19 points, leading all scorers. Taggart, he can hit from there. Shaw knows it and comes out. And a foul, bodies hitting the floor, both Perkins and Taggart. Let's see who the foul is on. I believe it'll be on Perkins. Let's watch it again. There's the contact. Foul called, always number seven, Jason Perkins. First personal, 13 foul. So coming over to give help from the weak side and gets called for the foul. Taggart at the line. In the first half, these teams hardly, well, Satria Muda went to the line only one time. It was one and one. The Philippines went to the line 13. They were 9 to 13 for 69%. Now back to a 21 point lead. Raimondo, Perkins. Perkins, awkward looking shot there. Shaw leaping up, can't get it. On the floor it goes. Satria Muda coming up with it. Taggart getting bumped. They'll reset it again. Good job by the Philippines getting back on defense. Left hand dribble by Taggart with the hook. Can't get it to fall. Kahilig with the rebound. Perkins. Raimondo. Lakudu with the defense, got it to fall. With a step back. So Raimondo now with seven. 69-50 at the five minute mark here in the third quarter. Round one screen, back outside. Taggart will hoist another three, way off the mark that time. Rebound taken by Valarius. Valarius with the left hand working on Jacobs. He backs it up. Kahilik downstairs to Perkins, who is wide, working on Michelle. Raimondo, spin move, puts the ball up and in. Nine points now for Raimondo. Having himself a good little game offensively. Falcone getting ready to check in now for Satria Muda. Satoris gives it up to Lakuda. Opposite side, Jacobs looking for a screen by Taggart, doesn't get it. Takes it up and rolls it in. With a J, Gary Jacobs. Jacobs now with 19. A 
He's had a superb tournament, has Jacobs. Uh, why not? You can see the defense, number 30, sliding off of Satora, sliding off of Perkins. So Perkins obliges, takes the jumper, and now has 23 points. Checking into the game now for Satria Moody, number 35. It'll be Coco Tibutra. So target practice out here at the OCBC Arena. Another three, 54. 74, Satria Muda with the lead. Whistle at the other end. Number 20, the foul on. Foul hold on Satria Check that number 30, the Satoris. For Satria Muda. Check in for Satria Muda. 35, John Lauren. And 21, Rizzo Falcone. Perkins off balance shot, got it in one. Taking the contact on the way up. What a shot by Perkins. My goodness, check this out. Falcone with the body. Perkins recognizing having him up in the air, went ahead and went up. That is high basketball IQ right there by Perkins. Referee even appreciates it. So 317 to go here in the third quarter. First game of three here on 11 Sports here at the 11th edition of the Merlion Cup of the OCBC Arena in the Lion City of Singapore. Chuck Schreiner with you. The rest of the way, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, culminating in the finals, and that is on Sunday at 5 o'clock. We will crown the champion of 2017. Taggart. Whoa, back outside and a backcourt call. Wild pass there by number 35, Coco De Putra. Checking in the game, Gunawan, Coco De Putra will come out. Can't be happy with those few minutes. Still no Dior Lohor, and in fact, they haven't needed him. Valarius. Tries to find a hole. Ramondo, he's got the hot hand, not Rebound, that time. Taggart. Taggart reaches up for the board. Pushing the ball quickly is Indonesia. Jacobs wide open. Almost traveled with the ball. Falcone gives it up, throws the screen. Taggart on the right-hand side. On the wing, number 13. Might as well take that shot. Way off the mark, though. Number 13, Ganawan. Ramondo. Gives it up to number 16, Valencian. 74-60, timeout being called by Indonesia. So gone is that 21-point lead. Slowly but surely, NLEX SC Techs coming back always on the march, down by 14 when we return at the 222 mark. Cup merchandise. I've got a great stuff on offer, so don't miss your chance to take home a part of the 2017 Malayan Cup. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, off the timeout. Satria Moody, 74-60 over the Philippines and a 21-point lead a while ago. So, Tollway starting to make some inroads. Taggart with the ball. Back up top it goes. Lukudu looking for space. Swings it over to the left. Jacobs, long three, yes! Long three! What a game Jacobs is having. 
Gary Jacobs now with 25. So it's the Perkins and Jacobs show here at the OCBC Arena. Raimondo, Valarius switches it over to Perkins. Perkins will dance through. Up top now, Valarius catch and shoot. Three. 77 63 with 144 to go here in the third quarter. Good ball rotation. Taggart, everything running through the middle at the moment. There at the high post. Four on the seven on the shot clock. Taggart follows his own shot up and in off the glass. Good game so far for Taggart. He's got 20. Raimondo waiting for Perkins, delivering the screen. He does not roll off of it that time. Now at the high post, has it taken away. Back the other way it goes. And an easy Gary two Jacob. on the flush. Gary now with 24. Raimondo, nobody picking him up. Haggard has to come over to the weak side position. So Raimondo quietly having himself a nice little game. 11 points for him and three dimes. Back outside, Taggart again at the high post. He's being double teamed. Long three, in and out it goes. Falcone fighting for the rebound, coming down by Taggart. Taggart gets it out in the open court now. White shirts everywhere. Fall away jumper is good. JP Palencion. So back to within 14. The three Amuda will play for the last shot. Shot clock off. Jacobs around Taggart's screen. Ganawan all alone from three. Can't get it. Plenty of time. Six seconds. Raimondo with the ball. Lead pass. Knocked away. Right into the hands of Valencian. Check that. That is Byron Villarias. So for two, it is bounced off the hands of one player. Right on to a Philippine player. 81 69. We'll be back for fourth quarter action in anybody's game here at the OCBC Arena. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ten minutes left, 81-69. Satria Muda over NLEX. The Tolsters have quietly made some inroads. They trail by as many as 21. They've cut the deficit to 12. And they've done it with great ball movement and shut down defense on the interior. See if they can keep it up. Taggart, shot contested up and in. As soon as I say that, Shaw with the foul Shaw will go to the, or check that Taggart will go to the line and for Taggart 22 points including two threes so Satria Muda doing it from inside and outside they've had Jacobs from the guard position Taggart from inside well sort of Taggart has also done some yeoman's work from the perimeter 
around the screen. Pull up jumper is good. That for three. Just what the doctor ordered. So Byron Villarius. 84 72 back to a 12 point lead. Inside it goes. Turn and shoot Falcone off the mark. Rebound, Rebound taken by Valencian. Pushing the ball quickly. Perkins swings to the left. Raimondo. Ball picked off. Costly turnover just when the momentum was going in the Philippines' way. Little runner in the lane is no good. Rebound. Perkins seemingly everywhere gets the rebound. Ramondo pushing it off to the right hand side. Yes! Valarius. So 10 point game now. Furious comeback by the Philippines. And seemingly. Indonesia taken out of their game. Taggart now on the left block. Back out top again. Inside, hands everywhere, picked off by Perkins. Run down by Valarius, picked off again. Indonesia with the ball. Falcone to Taggart. Taggart knocked away by Shaw. Foul. Taggart will go the line for two. Wild and woolly action here, coast to coast here at the OCBC Arena. Watch it again. I'll call the 19. Entry Rich pass Rich there. Rich Shaw tapping with the hands. Tag it to the charity strike. First, uh, third quarter statistics. NLEX SC Techs 25 of 55 for 45 percent. Not bad, but on the other side of the ball, Satria Muda 32 of 61, 52 percent. Turnovers only two for Satria Muda, so they accomplished their mission. Don't turn the ball over on the other side. Not too bad. Nine turnovers, though, for the Philippines. So 86-74, back up to a 12-point lead. Valencian looking in. Shaw with the screen. Around the horn it goes. Valencian with the three, not this time. Kick back out and tipped. Jacobs, good control that time to hold the ball up. Indonesia will set it up, spread out the offense. Little bounce pass inside. Great job by Falcone. Getting the ball inside to Taggart. No answer for that. 88-74, 14-point lead. Shaw to Ramondo. Ramondo slices it out to the left. Valencian. Now to Perkins looking inside for cutters. Not much movement. He'll have to take it himself. Shaw with the ball. Off his knee. Out of bounds it goes. Indonesian ball. Checking in for Sacha So all of a sudden, the Philippines offense becomes very staid. No movement at all. They call a good timeout. So with 7.45 to go, 88-74, 14 point spread, just like it was at halftime. So Satri Muda riding the ship. We'll be right back after the timeout. Off the timeout, ladies and gentlemen, 7.45 to go in this game, 88-74 in favor of Satria Muda of Indonesia over NLEX SC Tex of the Philippines. You look for a while that the uh, Philippines would be making a comeback. They got the deficit down to 12 from 21, now back up to 14. Checking in the game is Dior Lohorn. He had eight first half points, so more muscle in the interior for the Indonesians. Jacobs, what a game he's having. Almost lost it, back to Jacobs. Ganawan on the right-hand side, he'll rotate down. Lohorn on the high block with the screen. Lohorn with the ball, turns, throws the ball away, out of bounds, Ramondo, good idea. Two seconds left then on the shot clock. So they're going to say the ball was out of bounds, so no possession for the Philippines. That means two seconds to get the ball inbounds and shoot. So Jacobs 
Gets the ball to Lohorn, will turn and fire away. Can't get it to go. Shaw, and over the back, Falcone touches it last. Check it out again. You look for yourself. Well, Falcone might have a point. Looked like Shaw touched it last. Raimondo downstairs to Shaw. Shaw fires it up. No good. Back rim. Rebound. Lohorn Rohan. with the rebound. Clock trickles down to the seven-minute mark. Lohorn. Jacobs around the screen. Lohorn rolls off of that. Falcone on the other block. Take the shot off the glass and a foul. See who that goes against. Going to go against number 16. Wow. Technical foul they're going to call. Let's see where the technical occurred. Valencian. So two shots on the foul. The toys, 24 open. Don't know why a technical foul. There must have been something said to the referee. So the Philippine coach asking for clarification. So two shots and the foul. Jacobs will go to the line. He's got 24. Make that 25. Jason Perkins leading all scores with 26. Number 15, Valerius has 20. So just one shot and the, uh, and the ball. Falcone still puts the ball on the floor too low for Lohorn to dig out. But a foul, Samalinog, I think is going to be whistled for that. So three team fouls now on the Philippines. Jacobs will inbound it on the far side. Lohorn lurking on that high post. Shot is good. So 91-74 and... Uh, Back up to a 17-point lead. Let's see if this last run has taken the legs away from the Philippines. Crossover by Perkins. Off-balance shot is no good. Shaw skies for the board. Puts it on the floor, up and in. 91-76. Keeping the Philippines in contact. We click down to the six-minute mark and below. Lowhorn high block, still there on that right-hand side. The ball off the hands of Falcone. Checking, for the toys. Checking back into the game will be Taggart. Lohorn will chum out. So the same formula that has worked all afternoon for Indonesia, substituting Lohorn. But Taggart getting the bulk of the playing time. Perkins, nobody around him is going to be short. And we're looking at a very tired Philippines team right now. Perkins trying to save it, but backcourt call. So the look of the very weary team, this Philippines team, look at this, Perkins can't find the handle. Diving on the floor, but uh, the backcourt call. That'll bring in number 35 for Satria Muda. Coco de Putra. Also number 11 checking in, Audi. Well, plenty of time left still on the clock for the Philippines, but they're going to make a move. They need to do it now. They need a stop. Otherwise, this game getting entirely out of hand. 15-point lead, three from the corner is good. Just as I say that, Coco de Putra makes it an 18-point game. Foul, touch foul. And that will go on number 11, Audi. Third team foul now, they're saying, or first team foul on Indonesia. Perkins wants the ball at the 521 mark. Ramondo will take the screen. Falcone on him on the switch. Got a mismatch out top. Perkins going against Audi. Turn and fire way off the mark. Wild looking shot there. Ball on the floor, can't be saved. It'll be Philippines ball at the 503 mark. Inbounds, 
near side. Perkins. Number 24, Samalinog. Still Samalinog. Now Shaw. 15 on the shot clock. My goodness, just freelancing at the moment and a foul. Perkins hits the deck. Foul will be on number 35. That's Coco de Putra. First foul on him as we look at it. Coming over from the weak side. Foul call from 35, Sean Taggart. First personal, second team foul for Satya Maria. That'll stop the clock at the 449 mark. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, game up next. You don't want to miss that. Singapore Slingers and the Adelaide 36ers, both these teams undefeated. Both have one thing in common. They played the Taiwan team, Singapore a 89-79 or 89-69 winner on day one of this tournament. Demolition job by the 36ers over the Taiwanese team last night, 104-46. So one of those teams will come out undefeated. And then, of course, our nightcap, Jeonju KCC Eagles versus Shanghai Sharks. Both those teams, 2-0. So three games on the trot for them in three days. Perkins off the mark. Oh boy, this is a very tired team. You can see just no oomph in these leaps on the ups for both Perkins and Shaw. Ball out of bounds. So Philippines team running on fumes. Check it out again. Just nothing left in the tank. Third game in three days, it's no wonder. Big ass for any team. Perkins lines up a shot. Good. So 94-79 for 420 mark. Again, this Philippines team, these Tolsters, an amalgamation of D-League players, developmental league players in the Philippines. Seems like there's a team for everybody in the Philippines. They love their basketball. Falcone, wild shot. Turns around in midair. Raimondo coming back. He's still full of running. On the left-hand side, Valarius with the three. From downtown, Byron Villarias. So 94-82. Maybe I spoke too soon. Down to 12-point lead with 347. Timeout, Indonesia. We'll be right back to the 347 mark. We got a good one here at the OCBC Arena. We'll be right back. And ladies and gentlemen, the Lion Cup hopes that you join us in keeping the OCBC arena looking as great as possible by disposing of all litter in the bins provided. As we enjoy the great action on offer, please remember to also throw away all rubbish in the bins located around the OCBC arena. Thank you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, 346. Indonesia with the ball, and uh, they have allowed NLEXSC -E Techs to get back in the game. And right as I say that, they go to their workhorse downstairs. Who else? Sean Taggart, who now has 29 points. Perkins with a three. Jason Perkins. So 96-85, 11-point game to the 320 mark. In Indonesia, no hurry to bring the ball down. Downstairs to Taggart again, and he is fouled. Double team, I believe, who got him was Samalinog. So fourth team foul. Foul call. And then it's number seven, Jason Perkins, the second person. Next one, they will be in the penalty situation.
Jacobs. Samalinog on him. 1-2-2 two, two zone. Dancing inside. Finger roll. No good. Tipped up in the air. Shaw comes down with it. Lead pass. Throws it away. My goodness. What an opportunity there for the Philippines. So new lease on life for Satria Muda. Rotated over now to Taggart again. Taggart rolls off a of Shaw, can't get it to fall. Samolinov with the rebound, gives it to Perkins. Chance to slice the lead to single digits here. What do we have here? A foul, and that'll go on Jacobs. So fourth team foul on Indonesia. Check that third team foul. So they'll take it out on the near sidelines here. Raimondo will inbound it. Valarius off the screen. Perkins. Still Perkins. Trying to find space. Puts up a shot. No good. Shaw fighting for the rebound. And he's fouled. Fourth team foul now. Let's see if they're going to give him two. Yeah, Shaw will go to the line on the hack. So that will stop. I'll call them. 30, Kevin Jonas. Yes, that will stop the clock at 224. So is it a shooting foul? Shaw still not settled. Timeout. And they're going to say timeout, Philippines, so they want to draw something up. So 2.24 to go. We'll stay with you through this timeout, 96-85. And this has been the MO of this tollway team throughout this tournament. Just when you think they're down and out, they come right back at you. A very gritty bunch, basically a very young developmental team, but uh, certainly have a lot of moxie about them as they were down by as many as 21 points. They crawled back to within 11 with 2.24 to go. On the other side, the ball is to Tria Muda going to their workhorse down low, Sean Taggart. Or their all-league guard, Gary Jacobs. Both those guys together, 25 and 29 points respectively. So out of the 96 points that Satria Muda have put on the board, 50 Six of those have come from two players. Hasn't been a two-man show, really. Number 30 also, Kevin Satoris, chipping in with 12. So a lot, of, a lot more contributions tonight from the locals than uh, we had the previous two games. This is a team that really is playing a little bit shorthanded. I was talking to Dior Lohorn before the game. They had three players that were originally scheduled to play with this team members of the Indonesian Warriors national teams, but uh, the decision made at the last moment to rest them. Long three by Ramondo is off the mark. Skying up, tipped back by Rebound. number 15, Valarius, no good. And Jacobs has it. And Indonesia will slow it down again as we approach the two minute mark. Under two minutes now. 11 left on the shot clock. Jacobs is fouled by number 15. That'll stop the clock. Byron Bellarius. 15 foul. That will put Jacobs at the line. Byron Villarias. Third personal for 15 foul for Inlex. Jacobs, a marvelous Jacobs. tournament so far. Of course, last night running into the teeth of that very stingy Korean defense, only finishing with six points. But having his way tonight, 27 and counting. Ramondo, Valarius with the three ball, yes! Catch and shoot, Baron Valarius for three! So 98-88, down to 10. Not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Jacobs again taking his time. 1-2-2 two, two defense being set up on the zone. Three is no good. Punch back right into the hands of Jacobs again. Who will hold on with 10 left on the shot clock, 125 on the game clock. Jacobs will fire up a three, got it! 
dagger. That might just be the dagger. 30 points for Jacobs now, 29 for Taggart. So 59 points of the 101. Those two players alone and a foul. Don't know why you would foul in that situation. All it does is stop the clock and put Ramondo at the line, especially when you've got a 13-point lead. Go figure. So coming out of the game, number 11, Audi. Checking into the game, number two, Lakudu. Last thing you want to do is stop the clock with a 13-point lead and a minute and change on the board. So today, as we said, last day of the round robin competition. Tomorrow, starting at 2 p.m., remember, not 4.30 like today, but 2 o'clock start tomorrow. Group A, fourth place against Group B, third place. Then the winner, Group A versus the Group B runner-up. Then at 6 o'clock, Group B winner versus the Group A runner-up. So out of that compilation, we will get the semifinalists and the uh, finalists for Sunday. Or the third place and fourth place game Sunday. And of course, the winner of semifinals one and two. Jacobs, under a minute to play. Long three. Got it. And surely that puts the game out of reach. 104 to 90. So an offensive extravaganza, a show put on by both these teams. Three is off the mark. Grabbing the rebound is number 30, Satorius. So Jacobs on the way to playing out the string here for Satria Muda, who will go to one and two. Long three ball again is off the mark this time. Number 18, Jexter with the rebound. Still Jexter, the 16 second mark. Dribbling through a couple of defenders, puts up a shot, in and out. Rebound. Taggart with the rebound, and that ought to do it, ladies and gentlemen. So, one of the best spectacles we've had in the tournament, in fact, probably the best game we've had in the tournament, Satria Muda over NLEXSC Tex, 104 to 90. So, one and two now for Satria Muda. They keep their flickering hopes alive to get to the semifinals. On the other side of the ball, well, you don't want to say too late, but time running out for the Philippine team, but not before they put on a very good show for us today at the OCBC Arena. They will go down 104 to 90 and go to 0 and 3. So they'll have to wait for the rest of the games to see what their status is for tomorrow. But it looks like all the world, they're going to finish fourth in this group. So for them to have any chance at a berth, they will have to defeat the third place of group B, so we'll find out what happens with that tomorrow. That most likely will be the Taiwan team. So still a chance to get the win. And Satria Moody smiles all around as they keep their playoff hopes alive here at the OCBC Arena in day three. Scoring, you can see NL Leaks actually outscoring Satria Moody 21 to 20. So we will go up on the floor with Hadi with a uh, Interview, it looks like the Jacobs they've got over the star of the game for Satria Moody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're standing here with Satria Moody's Gary Jacobs Jr. Gary, first win in the tournament so far. I know you guys just sort of came together before this tournament, so did it take a couple of games before you guys really knew each other and felt each other out on court? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, not playing together, we didn't have any... Uh chemistry or anything like that coming in so I knew it would take a couple games for us to uh, collide all our personalities and our style of play and figure each other out once we got in a couple games and also today you guys you had the lead but it was a bit tough to really pull away was that just fatigue having to play three games in three days uh, most definitely I think anybody would be tired but at the same time I feel like uh, we just got lackadaisical in the second half being up 20 you kind of you know get out of your zone and what you want to do and we just had to get back to it and finish strong well, you did, and you got the win. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good luck for the rest of the tournament as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Satri Muda beating NLEX SC Tex. Let's now take a look at the highlights from that game.
Let's do this. Yeah, you want it.